Hi everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic, my case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today I'll be talking about and reviewing Love on the Spectrum, the Netflix series about autistic people from Australia dating, and no footage from the series will be used to avoid copyright issues here on YouTube. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video is inspired by Love on the Spectrum itself, which the series is about five men and five women who are all autistic and live in Australia. It first aired on ABC TV in Australia. Not to be confused with the American Broadcasting Company here in the United States, which is owned by the Walt Disney Company. A friend of mine on Facebook mentioned this series, as she has an autistic sister, and it gave me an idea to watch the series for myself, and I actually enjoyed the show. Season 2 is on ABC TV in Australia and coming soon to Netflix in the future, which features all new people different from Season 1. The series has one season currently on Netflix with season two coming soon after it's been aired on TV in Australia. The cast is made up of Michael who's 25, Chloe who is 19, Clelvin who is 20, Maddie who is 23, Olivia who's 25, Mark who is 29, Andrew who is 27, Ruth and Thomas, who are 22 and 25, Jimmy and Shireen, who are both 21, and experts Jody Rogers and Dr. Elizabeth Langstein. The eight episodes focus on these men and women and how they deal with dating. Some of them are successful, while others are not. In one episode, Dr. Langstein teaches Mark, one of the men in a class, how to act correctly when dating. Maddie, she likes the cosplay, and she does go to a convention, and her date is cosplaying as the skipper from Gilligan's Island, where he meets one of the stars from that series. From watching the series, I learned that dating isn't easy when it comes to being on the spectrum. For some, it's not for them. For others, it shows they are interested. Hopefully, I can do something similar to what Mark did in the series as the classes he did and improved his social skills, talking about what to do, what not to do when going out on dates. Also, I will be sure to post the link to my video about relationships and friendships in the description below. I can feel for what they went through as being turned down and also things going wrong on dates has happened to me before. Do I highly recommend this series? Yes, I do. I can't wait to see season two once it's been released on Netflix in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask depending on certain mandates like going indoors that require you to wear masks or even in public transportation like riding the bus, ride share, etc. But of course, in other instances, you don't have to wear a mask if you're fully vaccinated. Always wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you. Get vaccinated if you haven't gotten vaccinated yet. And of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together.